everything is in motion for us to hit the ocean. I hope you Oasis. Like entertained. <laughs> you like bring the really, joy. I have a really, really <laughs> good time with it. It's just like we fun. are in motion <laughs> for the ocean. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Today is another beautiful day here in Utah. Sun is shining, white snowy covered mountains. It's beautiful. We just need the snow to melt all around us and it will be perfect. Today, tomorrow, and the next day, we are looking at 50 degree temperatures. That doesn't happen in January. We're just going to enjoy it and prep for our upcoming vacation with this sun. Now I can get used to this. This stuff really makes me happy. It really puts me like on a whole other level. What was that, Rye Guy? Rye Guy. Rye Guy's home. He's supposed to be at school. No. no. Rye Guy's not feeling well. Didn't want him around his classmates to get anybody sick. He is home getting ready to leave with us. We actually have something that we have to do. So he's gonna come along and come home and get right back in bed. Put it all in yesterday's video. He is, just has a little virus, just a little cold. Honestly, it's just a cold. Took him in and had him tested for everything and everything came back negative, which was a positive. So frustrating. Sometimes you want it to be something just to treat something. He is just going to rest, recover, have a lot of liquids, have a lot of water, try and get better. Super lame, super, super lame. In fact, he had a dentist appointment later today and I did call and cancel. We have rescheduled that first appointment of two today that we are going to head out to is we announced a couple of weeks ago that we are going on the most amazing cruise coming up. And the coolest part about it is so many of you have messaged in and said, I've been on that ship, I've been on that cruise, it is incredible. In that video where we announced our vacation, which we never announce our vacations that soon, I said, oh my gosh, we're good to go. Kids have passports, they expire in June. Our cruise is in what? April. I heard our cruise. Our. 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 I have a hard time talking. From Disney, maybe. No, it's um, a pirate, you're on a so ship. Our, you sound like a, not a pirate. <laughs> cruise our. is in April. I'm so we're like, good, right? we're, we're good, we're good. Yeah. We're good, but no. Thanks to many of you, you have told us, you need six months on the back end of your trip before your passport can expire. I don't know why they have expiration dates. If you got to like, just make the expiration date six months before that, Brennan, I don't know. It's all it money makes no making sense. business. <laughs> and you expedite them because you found out late. I know. <laughs> kids are at school. We're going to go check them out and we are going to get their passports done again. So if kids don't renew them, you just simply get a new passport. Yeah. That makes the process a little easier. We, they're a shorter validity window. Five years. Five years Versus because 10. they just change so much. I mean, it's hilarious. You go to the TSA gate, they open it up and they're like, okay, which one is like Ryler? And he's like looking for a toddler. <laughs> Ryler anywhere? And Ryler oh, no. Up, oh, that's me. <laughs> so, yeah. We are going to get new passports done today. You got all the stuff? Everything. Everything. Okay. I think. Let's go get the kids. Let's do this, baby. This is the next step in going on our cruise. Ah! Passport time. Set sail. All right, guys. We are here. We've got the kids. We are at the... I'm going to call the passport office because we've only been here twice. We've been here one other time. Other than Brandon comes here to get a pass to go to the dump. So I'm going to take Take off. a dump? So... <laughs> take a dump? <laughs> take a dump? Excuse me? No, we're here to get the passports. I've got all the information. Separate check for each kid needs a separate check or something. Wait, really? Do you have to pay with four separate oh, checks? Oh, you said separate checkbook and I thought you were holding like five checkbooks. I have a lot passports. of checking accounts and as long as I have checks, I just have money so I keep spending. They're empty. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding, we have one checking account. Yeah, we have to write a separate check for each kid. Passports, our passports, all of the information. I think we're ready. I think we need the picks. That's what we're going to do next. We need the get kids. our passport picks. Yes. Okay, crew. They just told Haley she can smile but can't show her teeth because she's trying to do a no teeth smile.
We have officially taken our passport photos. You guys did a great job at not smiling. It's yes, like sir. the opposite of what mom always says in every photo shoot. I know. Smile, smile, smile. They're like, don't smile. They're sent off. We decided to expedite because believe it or not, I know they have to give you kind of like worst case scenario estimates based on basically worst case scenario. When she said six to eight weeks is the standard, we went, no, we definitely want to. Well, the last day of the eight week was the day we need to get on the plane. You so. just can't run that risk. I'm sure it will come sooner. So we did decide to expedite. So they'll be here in two to three weeks. And my guess is they could be here as fast as like in a week. They're off. Pictures have been taken. In, applications filled out. Everything is in motion for us to hit the ocean and go on this cruise, baby. I Let's hope go. You guys Oasis. Get entertained with how wordy he gets. You like bring I have a really, joy. I have a really, really <laughs> good time with it. It's just like we fun. are in motion for the ocean. <laughs> it's fun for me. <laughs> Just got home from the dentist. Had to run the kids there. I've already made a quick outfit change because I literally just walked in the door. I'm going out for a little GNO with the Bingham girls to see Brandon's cousin Brooke. Kids did great at the dentist. Only one kid had a little cavity. It's been a while since we've had a cavity. It's all right. Her treats get the best of us. They actually told crew he had a cavity, but it's on the side of his tooth. They said it's actually genetic. I'm like, dang it. I've totally had one of those. That's for me. Then I told him he's lucky enough that he got my teeth and my good looks, so he's good. Don't worry. I'm kidding. Kids did fantastic. Easy, quick little fix. And we'll get Riley in, in a couple of weeks to take him. He's seems to even be feeling better this afternoon, which I'm really grateful for. Mom's off on her girls' night right now, hanging out with my mom and sister and my cousin, and they're actually going out to dinner to a place that we went to recently, so hopefully mom likes the food there. But here at home, just continuing to check in on Ragai, see how he's doing. He actually seems and sounds a lot better. I actually caught him upstairs, playing some Steam Deck online with his buddy, they were laughing, and that's really the first time I've seen him show any signs of energy at all in a couple of days, so that was a really good sign. Continuing to check on him. Crew actually went outside for a minute today because it got warm enough that the snow melted off of the basketball court, and he was able to go out and shoot some hoops, and I think he's He's been very much looking forward to that because it's just been snow packed and snow covered for quite a long time. The snow fell a while ago, but it's been so cold. It just has not been melting. But lately we've had the sun out. It's been beautiful. It just breathes life into life. And so today a little bit of that snow melted. Crew was able to get outside, shoot some hoops. I'm seeing some higher temperatures in the forecast coming up, which means it may continue to melt to give us some opportunities to get outside a little bit more. I still want to though, and I don't even think I would want mom to hear me say this, but I still want to have one more good snowstorm so we can go out in the backyard and like build snowmen and like snow forts and have snowball fights. I know that's such like a throwback to when the kids were a lot smaller, but we've never had a backyard when they were smaller. Now we have one. It would be really fun, I think, to go out and play out in the snow. Last year, if you guys were here when we moved in, we had just barely moved in and our grass had just been set down. So the sod had just been laid. So we were instructed to stay off of it because they do what's called like a wet roller. I can't remember exactly what they called it. Basically, they saturate it, they lay it down. As long as you stay off of it, because it goes dead and dormant and freezes, it can come back to life in the spring. But if you get on it, it will shift the pieces and it will put dents in it and it will just kind of damage the grass overall. Well, well, longer part of that story is that the deer ended up doing that for us anyway and we had to replace all of the sod but we stayed off of it all winter long so we had the most incredible snow in the last 40 years in like the history of Utah we just could sit and look at it because we weren't able to go out and get on the grass so this year we can but we just haven't had quite as much snow so this year I did think it would be kind of fun if we had a great snowstorm the kids wanted to to go out and just kind of go old school have a nice snowball fight build some forts and some snowmen <laughs> if we get a chance one more snowstorm I'd be down for that otherwise we are moving into a little bit warmer temps and have the sun come Coming out. We're still in January. A lot of snow left to be had, but it is nice to see that sunshine. got passports on the way. Well, I don't know, the process. No, 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 yeah, Okay, yeah. this is actually kind of funny because we did the passport thing today, being on top of it, came home, tried to make a TSA pre-check online application for a crew. Since he's now 13, he has to have his own TSA pre-check. He can't come in with the parents. Well, unfortunately, they need to see his passport before he can do that. So thankfully we expedited. I think we have plenty of time for all of it. They'll get here and he can do the TSA pre-check and then we yes. should be good to go. Sorry. That's right, it works out. If he doesn't have TSA pre-check, it's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. Also, speaking of the end of the world, mom's getting up at like four something tomorrow for fun. That feels like the end of the world to me. I have joined a new 
small group training session. Get Basically, it's kind strong. of like a personal trainer, but it's very, very small group. You have to be there warmed up and ready at 545. Got to warm up before that. So that's why she is putting out the lunches here, getting everything as ready as possible because then she will come back from that. We'll be like mid process of getting kids out the door yeah. and ready that morning. So I think it'll be good. That's going to be our new every other morning routine. So that'll be nice. We'll yeah. see. We'll see how that handles. Awesome to get the kids uh, but tomorrow morning, one thing that we'll be looking to see is how Riley's feeling. So he's yeah. doing a little bit better, kind of goes up and down. Yeah, I think he's feeling a little bit better on the up and up. Yeah, he had uh, a little more joy today playing games than he did the day before. So. That's how you know. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know he's feeling better. That's how you know. That's how you know. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're so grateful for you every single day. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>